Okay, team, we just did this section on algebraic computation and expressions, and we looked at some of these questions and we, we worked through some of this math. And one of the things that we were talking about are the steps, the steps involved in algebraic computation, right? And so I want to, I want to, I found that article and I wanted to think about the steps and I want to give you this idea of thinking about the steps. And I know you get this, but you know, this is a fun team, your math. So let's think of, Let's think of uh, uh, Mickey D's for a moment. You can see those those delicious, 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 delicious burgers, right? Mm, 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 mm. What is it? Mm, mm, I'm loving it. Is that is that their thing? Do, 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 do. Is that that? I want you to uh, think about this. This is an article from the Wall Street a couple days ago. Or maybe it was like two days ago, and and it talked about how. And I'm not I'm not promoting uh, a McDonald's here, but how they they took their burger and they broke it down into steps. And that's how McDonald's got famous. Right. They broke down all the steps in making the burger and, 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 and made it fast food so they could make a burger in under two minutes. Is that the idea? All those steps and everything was broken down into a step to the spacing of the burgers, to the the everything was broken down. And, and they got someone, they got a consultant, and they got a team together that identified 64 things that they could change to make a, a better, more delicious burger. Doesn't that look good? They changed all these different characteristics, right? Modified how they stored things and how they made things and how much sauce and how much this and how they prepared the cheese. Give me a thumbs up. Mm, 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 mm. And now that's what you want to do with your math, right? You want to go through your math and, and now you want to look at those questions and you want to just break them down to the point where you start to see the same things repeated over and over again, where you start to see, hey, this question and 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 this question and uh and this question, right? Oh, they they all have you know, algebraic equations involving fractions, right? And, 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 and working with that. Do you see all the similarities here? So if you have two or three of these questions on your test, you, you're going to do a lot better. So when you think of algebraic computation, from now on, you're going to think, <clears throat> you're going to think of our Big Mac. Yes? Yes? Break down those problems into steps. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you need help on these exams, you're looking for some additional support, I want you to go to Go Academy's website. You can go to this website right here at www.goacademy.com and you can see all our classes. These are live classes. They have a live component. They're webinars, but they have a live, live webinar component as well as um, full access to all the videos that Go Academy does. I'm sure you're going to find these classes very helpful if you need the extra help. So check it out if you do. All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.